Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are gonna continue our look at painting Morathi from the Daughters of Cain. And so this is the on foot version of her. And of course we have her in sub assemblies. And so we have her head here and uh, we're gonna keep the uh, head separate from the body so that we can accurately paint the face, the helmet and the hair, of course, because if we had glued the head in, we wouldn't have been able to get to the backside of the hair or anything like that. So we're gonna use some Cadian flesh tone uh, on top of our pre-shade here. And you might remember call from the previous episode on the pre-shade of this model. And basically uh, what we're doing here is uh, I've thinned out the Cadian flesh tone and I'm applying it to the model here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just allowing that blue underneath to kind of uh, help poke through some of the shadow points uh, in the jaws and in the eyes. Uh, after a while, you know, I just wasn't entirely sure it was all working out. And so I ended up kind of just laying down just a bit more heavier uh, base coat on those areas, leaving it roughly around the eyes, uh, just to keep it a little bit more, uh, you know, shadowy as it were. We're adding Kislev flesh to this mixture uh, in a roughly one-to-one, -one, and I always say roughly because getting little dollops of paint onto your paintbrush and uh, you know mix them together is not an exact way to measure out uh, paint, but as long as you're consistent in how much paint you're grabbing on your brush, you should get consistent results. Of course, we've added um, medium to this, and pretty much every step of the way, we'll be adding medium to these phases because, again, uh, when doing female faces, you really want to build up uh, slight gradients of color. Uh, here we're going with Kislev Flesh all on its own, thinned out, not quite like glaze consistency, but it's in a fairly thinned out consistency here. And we're just... Uh, laying it on top of the high part of the brow, high point of the cheeks, the nose, uh, just the upper lip and the uh, chin. I also follow a little bit of the jawline as well and I kind of push this highlight along the cheeks uh, a little further in towards the nose as well, giving her a much more angular look to her face. Again, when you're dealing with uh, female faces, you often want to um, avoid heavy shadows as it, it just it just doesn't look quite right and in fact you know like it, it just it, it just kind of has a very abrupt feeling on the model versus like male models like space marines where you can have like kind of abrupt shadows and it doesn't feel out of place we're jumping to some abaddon black with a little bit of thinner here and we're just going to basically lay out the eyeballs themselves very very carefully of course i'm using a fine detail brush here from citadel just to basically lay this color in Again, as I mentioned, you really want to have very subtle highlights when dealing with uh, fe female faces. And so uh, for anybody getting into these, this model range, it'll be excellent practice uh, for doing female faces. You can see here we're using some white scar. And again, I'm just laying in the white uh, inside the uh, uh, Abaddon Black. I almost said Chaos Black. And as you can see here, I just simply lay in the little pupils into the eyes. I get a little bit onto the cheekbone and such. So really quickly, I just jump over to some Kids Lab Flesh and just push those black lines underneath the eyes uh, in a bit. And of course, uh, it's also a great way to actually you know, uh, close off some eyes. Sometimes the eyes look a little too big on some models. And so actually coming in with your last highlight and pushing that eye back a bit, and just very carefully draw that base color in towards the eye and you can actually get you know a pretty decent result and actually make the eye look a lot more natural. Next mixture is Kislev Flesh and Pallid Witch Flesh. This is a one-to-one -one mix ratio, of course, and I've used a little bit of medium here. And here you can see we're just applying a very final highlight onto these areas here. So again, it's at the very top of the brow, the top of the chin, cheekbones, and the tip of the nose. Very, very subtle. You can see here how the shadows are not very abrupt on the face. You want to keep those gradients really nice and smooth. And basically all we did was layer. We didn't do anything fancy. We didn't really glaze or anything like that. We didn't do anything terribly fancy. We just simply laid very nice, thin, laid out colors. Here I'm just using a little bit of Wazdaka Red, thinned out just a little bit, placed it on the bottom lip and just a teeny, 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 tiny little bit on the upper lip. But otherwise, that is it. That is Morathi. And that is her face. Well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.